Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're gonna to be taking a look at 11 of the best social media management tools when it comes to managing your social media. In this video, we're gonna be going through, of course, both free and paid tools available for social media management. Whether you're managing a small business yourself, a brand or a company list of different social media management uh, services as well, that's what we're gonna be breaking down here in today's video, all the different types of tools so you can get better better analytics and really dive into managing social media because I get that it can be a pain when whether it be multiple different business locations that you have to manage or even just most multiple different social media accounts for one brand or even multiple brands it can become quite a headache and trying to keep track of things obviously can help by utilizing some of the tools mentioned here in today's video. Now, before we dive into the list, of course, I do want to mention if you want to check out any of the companies mentioned here in today's video, there will be links linked down below in the video description. Of course, some of which are affiliate links, which is a great way to help out and support the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. So taking a look at the number one spot, and again, these aren't really in any particular order. We have Buffer. Now, Buffer is hands down, in my personal opinion, one of the best social media management apps. It is very straightforward and simple uh, to use in order to, of course, as you can see here, grow your audience on social and beyond. Now, with Buffer, you can connect all the different social media platforms, whether it be Pinterest, Instagram, you know, Twitter or X, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, all the different platforms, YouTube as well. Uh, you know, it whatever social media platforms that you need to publish your content on, Buffer can allow you to help then set up and schedule and manage that process workflow, which can be very nice. They do also have a free version as well, so you can try them out for free, uh, which is really nice. Uh, I have personally used Buffer myself, and I found it to be, generally speaking, one of the easiest and simplest ones to understand um, across the analytics side of things, managing multiple different accounts, and scheduling out posts. Now I get that some of the social media platforms do allow you to actually schedule out posts on their own, uh, but with a platform like Buffer and you're able to connect all those different accounts and manage, manage it from one dashboard, which is something you'll find common across a lot of different tools mentioned here in today's video because it can help you manage just multiple different accounts instead of just scheduling out things for one account, you can do it across everything. So uh, Buffer just is hands down one of the simplest, easiest UI and UX to understand understand. It is one of the more affordable tools as well uh, for some of their more premium paid uh, versions. Again, not spending too much time on the specific pricing comparisons here in this video today, because again, pricing is always subject to change. So be sure to check out, again, this is just a quick pricing disclaimer for all the different companies mentioned here in today's video. Make sure to check out their pricing pages at the time you're watching today's video because to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing because again pricing is always subject to change but generally speaking you know personally i think the ui ux of buffer is one of the best in the industry and definitely not something to you know ignore in terms of that just because it does make it a lot easier for yourself or even your team uh, to get in there get what needs to be done you know manage the different pages schedule out the posts and then add it to a queue and you know set up your content calendar and which can ultimately just make your your life and job a whole lot easier. Uh, again, even with the collaboration tools as well. So you can also set up different approval flows. Uh, so a variety of different team members can get in there and help you with it as well. Moving in at number two, we have CoSchedule. Now CoSchedule is a little bit more of an advanced version of Buffer. Uh, they do also have a wide variety of other different types of marketing tools in here. Now, a lot of the platforms, one thing you'll find common, especially in today's day and age as well, something I didn't mention about Buffer, but uh, they do have a lot of different AI AI post creator tools, especially with the rise of, you know, ChatGPT, different AI type tools. That is something you're going to see common across a lot of these different platforms as well, which is something that you might want to take into account when you're comparing the different ones. So Buffer has it, CoSchedule has it as well. Again, you could all opt for just using like ChatGPT and then just putting the information in if that's how you want to go about doing things. But it can be nice. Uh, again, a lot of different software companies nowadays are implementing AI directly into their tools. Uh, so that can help you you um sometimes most of the time you know it, it just depends on what your workflow looks like uh but you can you know implement ai directly into a uh, co-schedule as well which again as you can see here is a marketing calendar for content social and 
uh, beyond they do have a demo available that you can uh, get started with them as well as a you know be able to start with them for free so in terms of what they offer as you can see they have a social calendar content calendar uh, marketing suite as well as their headline analyzer which I think is pretty nice uh, and a you know, actionable course library. Uh, so in general, co-schedule, again, as you can see here, just based on the content calendar, uh, it can be a little bit more advanced depending on if you want to do even email blasts or blog posts or website posts, uh, variety of different marketing campaigns. You can dig into things a little bit more in depth in co-schedule uh, compared to things in buffers, a little bit more simple. Again, it just depends on what you're looking for in a tool and what type of analytics uh, that you want to get and how, how do you want to do your posting. So, you know, ultimately, Again, I recommend trying out a lot of these different platforms. Again, this is just a massive list covering all of the most popular and really the best platforms out there in today's market. Moving on at number three, we have Sprout Social. Now, Sprout Social, I've mentioned on the channel before, is a very comprehensive social media platform. They are probably the most robust and, more, and really best suited, again, even for enterprise level solutions. If you do have, maybe you're at a large company, maybe you have a lot of different social media management or social media pages to manage, uh, then Sprout Social could make a ton of sense for you because they are really probably the industry leader. Now they are a little bit more expensive than some of the other options out there due to that, but you do get really in-depth analytics, things that you don't just get from a regular post scheduler, uh, you know, that you can come to expect with a platform like Sprout Social. Now you can, you know, set up your post scheduling with them, but they do also offer a lot more in-depth analytics tools and custom reporting within Sprout Social. So you can compare analytics across all your different platforms uh, and connect it into Sprout Social as well and set up those reports, see like followers, what posts are doing well. They do also have direct integrations with a lot of the different platforms. Again, even, even beyond just social media, Sprout Social does allow you to also uh, integrate with tools like Shopify um, or you know, other platforms, Google Drive as well, Salesforce as well. So other types of more, um, you know, business tools, Google My Business, you know, a lot more business type tools beyond just the regular social media apps. You're also able to connect with the other business tools, which can help you in general uh, in terms of measuring your progress and measuring uh, how things are going in, you know, what type of posts that you're making, what's the engagement, what's the conversion rate maybe. Uh, as well from some of those posts and how things are going. So that is an, another nice benefit of Sprout Social, again, with just the more advanced analytics. Again, you do still have the typical, you know, post scheduling and publishing and things like that, uh, but you do just get a bit more uh, advanced connections with, you know, things like Salesforce as well, if that's what you're looking for. So if you're in an enterprise level solution, maybe then Sprout Social could make sense for you in your situation. Moving on next in this list, we have Planable. Now, Planable is a newer startup type company in terms of the overall landscape. And they do have a completely free version that you can sign up for, which is really nice. Uh, you can also schedule a demo with them and they do make things a lot simpler. Again, as you can see here, their sales pitch is like, you know, if you plan content in sheets or task managers, then this could be set up for you. So in terms of the overall workflow of Planable, uh, it takes sort of a page out of buffers approach in terms of keeping things very simple and just scheduling out your posts on your calendar view across different types of social media pages. You don't necessarily get as in depth of analytics that you would with like a platform, you know, such as Sprout Social or CoSchedule, uh, especially more compared to Sprout Social. Um, but you do get the post scheduling, which again, you know, they're looking to have analytics coming soon. So that is something that they're, they're working on. Um, but you know, as it stands right now, as you can see, you know, you can still set up all the different post scheduling on the calendar and they will have analytics in the future. So, you know, if you're down for that, uh, in analytics in the future, then that is something that they are working on, but it's not something that they necessarily have fully fleshed out in today, uh, for today, but planable another great option again an up and comer they do have a free version which is really nice and again it is just nice and simple if you want to keep it simple feed view you know calendar view they also have grid view and a list view 
Uh, so it can be nice just to kind of see like how things are going to be uh, looking on your different brands pages uh, across all the different social media accounts. So definitely recommend checking out Planable. Uh, can be another great option. Moving on next in this list, we have Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite is probably one of the most popular platforms that's been around the block for a long, long time. It's similar to Buffer. Uh, I would say they are you know, up there with Sprout Social in terms of what they offer and more detailed analytics and post scheduling. Uh, so you do get, a, I would say maybe a little bit of both. You do get the more detailed analytics as well as, you know, the simple post scheduling, setting things up. Again, Hootsuite has been around for a long time. So if you're looking for more integrations, then it might make sense to go with a platform like Hootsuite. They do also have a demo and a free trial if you're interested in checking them out. Uh, of course, you can publish and schedule things. You have AI content creation as well, different analytics tools, uh, engagement tools as well. So again, not to spend too much time on each of these different companies, but Hootsuite can be a, another great option. Again, they've been around for a long time if you do want those extra integrations. Moving on next in this list, we have Metricool, which is a, another popular platform. They do have a completely free account. Uh, that you can get set up with, as you can see here for social media. Now, Metricool does offer the analytics, uh, competitor analysis, reports, uh, you know, a looker studio connector, so you can get extra data analytics set up with from Google's side of things. Uh, you do also have hashtag trackers, uh, planners, approval system. Uh, so it can be nice. Again, it maybe if you're running a small, you know, social media marketing agency type of business, uh, then it could make sense, especially with this like approval system, allow your clients to review your content. That's something that Metricool is really good at in terms of if you are running an agency model, uh, then that could make a lot of sense to go with a platform like Metricool because. Again, they have the metrics in there as well as sort of the approval workflow process. So again, if you're doing it as client work, it can make a lot of sense. Again, they do also have a free forever free account that you can set up with Metricool. Again, they link to all the different popular, you know, social media platforms, not spend too much time on that. Uh, but in general, that's something that Metricool does stand out against some of the competitors in terms of the social media management game, in terms of maybe depending on the business model you're running, uh, it could make sense for you uh, to go with a platform like Metricool. Again, you have all the popular platforms um, and the popular tools that you would come to expect. Moving on next in this list, we have Later. Now, Later, I would say, is probably the closest platform to Buffer in terms of its overall scope and simplicity of managing your social media. Now, I will say Planable also is pretty simple in terms of its scope, uh, but Later has been around the block for a long time, like Buffer, for social media management. Now, again, you can publish, schedule, do your content creation, write captions, connect to all the different social media platforms. Uh, you know, they have the, the gist of that here in terms of, you know, what you would need from a social media management tool. Uh, they do have a free trial. Uh, so that is something, you know, worth considering there that it is a paid tool. Um, but you can schedule out and post things. Again, I would recommend trying out a lot of these platforms, maybe even on their free trial, see which one specifically works for you. Again, because it really does depend on what your specific needs are in your business. Again, uh, you know, depending on which one might be best for you. Now, they do also have analytics in later as well. Uh, as content creation tools. So later again is one of the most popular platforms up there with Buffer. It's been around for a long time. They do also offer influencer marketing tools as well as a link and bio tool as well, which is nice if you do want those kind of integrations on your social media, uh, especially if you're not already using those types of uh, tools. Moving on next in this list, we have Zoho. Now Zoho, more specifically Zoho Social, uh, is a social media management platform from the company of Zoho. Now I have mentioned Zoho many, many times on the channel because they have a wide variety of different software options when it comes to small businesses, whether it be a CRM platform, booking, uh, appointment booking, calling, uh, HR, <laughs> legal finance, accounting software, marketing software. Uh, the list does go on. So Z Zoho does also have a social media scheduler. Now this is a little bit more bare bones, a little bit more basic compared to maybe some of the other platforms uh, that I mentioned that are 100% focused around just social media management because Zoho kind of does a little bit of everything. Uh, they also offer Zoho One if you do want like more of an integrated uh, software solution, which 
which can be a nice perk about Zoho just because you can connect everything together uh, across their different software offerings, which can help you in general if you're trying to manage all your dashboards and analytics within one mega platform for your business, uh, then that could be a nice perk there. Uh, but they do also have the analytics tools. You know, you could schedule out your posts across different uh, you know, social media platforms, you have your content calendar, but again, it is maybe a little bit more, you know, stripped down version of some of the other social media management platform tools that are available. Uh, but the nice thing with Zoho Social is, you know, it is more somewhat more affordable again compared to some of the other platforms. Uh, they do also have a free trial as well. So it's something worth considering again, if that might be something that interests you. Now, moving on into the last section of this video, we're going to be going through a couple honorable mentions that aren't necessarily traditional social media management tools in terms of scheduling out like a post scheduler or even a content creation scheduling. Uh, these are all just platforms and tools that could be helpful for social media managers. So going in at number one, of course, you probably heard of it. It's Canva, not to spend too much time here, but this can be another good platform to actually create your social media um, content. So actually creating the images, creating the marketing material, creating the content that you will then go and schedule out and post on the other platforms. Now, one thing that a lot of the other platforms have done well over time is to almost integrate their own versions of Canva just built right into their platforms. So Canva, maybe not necessarily as necessary in today's day and age of social media management, but if you do want just something completely separate from the post scheduling, um, and instead of just one app, if, if, if you're looking to maybe parse things out a little bit, if you just maybe need to do a one-off, Canva could be good for that just to have something simple and you don't necessarily have to sign up for the whole dashboard and all the other social media management tools that we've mentioned here in today's video. Moving on next in the honorable mentions, we also have CapCut. Now CapCut is a little bit different because they do allow you to create video content for social media, which is something that, you know, depending on what tool you're using, you might want a sort of an automated way to generate uh, some of these videos. Now they do give you really nice templates that you can work with uh, and generate social media videos, or even if you just wanna edit a social media brand piece of content, and kind of spin it into, you know, something that looks branded, something that looks professional uh, for your business, then, you know, CapCut can be a great option. They do also have a very easy app. You can post directly to TikTok. Uh, so it, it depends on, again, what you're trying to do. But if you do want to maybe just create the videos here, save them, and then maybe upload those into the other social media management tools, CapCut can be a great um, content creation hub. And last but not least, but probably the best here in across the whole board in terms of combining everything and stitching everything together for your business uh, in social media management can be a platform like Zapier. Now Zapier is, the world is really your oyster in terms of what you can do here with this platform. Again, it is all about workflow automation. So you're able to connect different apps, different um, platforms into one. So as you can see here, you know, if you maybe you automate building out those uh, photos for the company, maybe you just have it auto post and auto schedule. So, you know, if you don't really need maybe all the different social media management, maybe if you're a little bit less hands on with your social media management, or even if you are hands on, this can take some of the more manual processes of social media management and just make it a lot more streamlined and automated if that's what you want. So again, the, the world is kind of pretty open in terms of how you want to use this tool, uh, but it can be great, again, for social media management. And that's why I figured I would mention it here as an honorable mention. They do also have a free forever uh, version as well, which is cool. So I figured it can be very useful for automating social media management as well. So guys, that pretty much rounds out this list here today of some of the best social media management tools and platforms available. If you guys want to check out any of the companies mentioned here in today's video, there are links down below in the description. Of course, feel free to check out any of the companies mentioned, of course, some of which are affiliate links, which is a great way to help out and support the channel. And so guys, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Without further ado, guys, that was all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.